Okay, let's have a look here. So if they're the endpoints of the diameter and that's the center, it means that's the midpoint of these two here. So the midpoint would be k minus 6 over 2. That should equal 3. And also, but not necessary to solve because you just need one equation. But um, uh, 2 minus k over 2 should equal minus 5. So just to check, uh, that would be 6. That would make k is 12. And here, that would mean 2 minus k is minus 10. So that means k is 12 as well. Yeah, so it looks like k is 12. So the radius would be the square root, let's see, 12 minus 3 squared plus 2 minus minus 5 squared. So that's the square root of 81 plus 49, 50, square root 130. Yeah, it's okay. It's funny, I did this a moment ago using the distance. The distance between P to the center should equal the distance from Q to the center. And I didn't get 12, but 12 is obviously the right answer here. So I wonder what mistake I did a minute ago when I tried a different method. Oh well. Yeah, okay. I actually discovered what my mistake was. Being careless. Ah, uh, okay, next part. You've got this circle. And we want to show that this point here lies outside the circle. By the way, this is equal to 10 squared, so the radius is 10. The center is zero, zero. So one way you can do it is you sub it in. You get 144 plus 81. And you note that that's uh, more than 100. Therefore, it's outside. So that's, that's one way to check it. You can also calculate the distance from the center and show that's greater than the radius. That would work as well. So the distance will be the square root of 144 plus 81, which is greater than 10. So a couple of ways to do it. Find the equation of the line OA, where O is the origin. Uh, okay, that's pretty straightforward. That's just y equals mx. So 12 minus 9 is out here. So you come out 12 and you go down 9. So that would be minus 9 over 12, which is 3 over 4x. And the c is 0 because it passed through the origin. Okay, that's fine. Bit weird. Find the coordinates of the point where OA intersects K. Well, that would be two places. So I think I could have a sneaky way of doing it. So there's the circle. And there's the line. And this is uh, 12, 9. So you come out 12 units. And you go down uh, 9 units. Is that what I said? So the slope is 9 over 12. Now, Three quarters. Did I say three quarters a second ago? <laughs> I'm doubting myself. Yes, I did. Uh, minus, of course. All right. Right now, that has a hypotenuse. of 15 but this if this is 10 then therefore that length there would be 5 so all you would have to do is come out two thirds so that would be 8 and that would be 6 and it's going to be I think symmetric isn't it on the other side 
8 and 6. So the points would be 8 minus 6 and minus 8, 6. Yeah. Okay. Uh, lastly, Oh, I can't erase that anymore. What about if I... Okay, there we go. A circle of that radius contains that point and its center is on that line. Find the equation of the two circles to satisfy this condition, right? Let's see if we can draw that. So the line x plus y equals zero is the line y equals minus x. So that's this line here. Uh, it has a radius of root 20 and the point minus 1, 3. So there. So circle like whatever there. And uh, how is there going to be two circles? Uh, no, minus 1, 3 it contains the point minus 1, 3. So it could be like that, I guess. It's one possibility. How else could it contain that point? Oh, and has a radius of root 20. So... Or maybe it's like this. Maybe it's like one could be here and then one could be here, and they would overlap a bit like that. Yeah, that could work. All right, so let's just draw one of them in for the moment. Okay, so radius of root 20. That's an interesting one. Somewhere on this line is a point that will make the distance from here to here equal root 20 and here to here equal root 20. And actually, I now I, I drew it like, like it looks like it's horizontal, but it doesn't have to be like the center, I guess, could be like, like here. Yeah, okay. So... Oh, no, but the center has to be on the line x plus y. Okay, so the center is somewhere on this line and contains that point. So that could be there. Oh, and I guess then, like, maybe there's another point here where it's, like, root 20. Okay, so that's okay. So that maybe, maybe that's not too bad. Yeah, I have to be somewhere on this line. So the distance between that point and there is root 20. So we'll call that x, y. So the distance squared would have to be 20. So that would mean x minus minus 1 squared plus y, and y equals minus x here, Minus 3 squared equals 20. And we'll make it quadratic, which is good for the two answers. So let's see. That's x squared plus 2x plus 1 plus x squared plus 6x plus 9 equals 20. So that's 2x squared plus 8x plus 8x. 9 and 1 is 10. Minus 10 equals 0. So I'll just put it up here since I'm out of space. It's um, x squared plus 4x minus 5 equals 0. So that's x plus 5, x minus 1. So the, the centers could be at 1 and minus 1. 
and minus 5 and 5. Oh, actually, so it's, it's much further out than what I drew. So it could be here at 1 minus 1. And it's going to be a big circle going around like that. Or at minus 5, 5. So way up here on the other side then. Okay. Uh, but we want the equations. So the equations would be x minus 1 squared plus y plus 1 squared equals 20. Or x plus 5 squared plus y minus 5 squared equals 20. Well, they have radius of 20, or root 20, I should say. Uh, it centers on the line x, y. So, yeah, that checks out as well. And it contains the point minus 1, 3. So let's, let's just check that out. Minus 1, minus 1 squared, plus 3, plus 1 squared. Yep. That's 20, okay. Minus 1 plus 5 squared plus 3 minus 5 squared. Hopefully this is 20 as well. Yeah, okay, so I'm satisfied those are the two equations of the two circles that, that meet the conditions in that question. Yeah, okay. Okay, that's good, that's good.